aqui. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. This week, Lexus sent me the 2018 LC500 Hybrid. Super excited to show you guys all about my week this week. It has been absolutely fantastic. But to start off, the color that Lexus sent me is the Atomic Silver, and it is an incredible color. It does such a great job of making the lines on this car look so sharp, and it just, it just really highlights the angles of this car. Now, when you come to the front, you have such a beautiful and elegant design. I really love the spindle grille on this particular car. Now, the lights in themselves are so intricate, so detailed. Um, you do have your blinker located in the left far side, and then, of course, the little checkered LED and your triple beam headlights, which everything in combination together at night looks fantastic, and it does a great job of lighting up the road in front of you. So the other thing is when you turn the wheel to the left, you have a light that will light up the far left or the far right side, which is just a pretty neat little design. And just the details in the actual headlamp itself is just so cool. Now coming back to the spindle grill, I love the detail in it. I love how the little dots get really close together and they start to spread apart as you go further down. And then of course you do have your blue Lexus symbol because this is the hybrid version. Now coming up, you do have that really elegant, long, powerful hood, which looks fantastic. Coming to the wheels, they have a beautiful, polished and machine finish to them. Now these wheels, in my opinion, I think they look great. Some people don't like them, but they are massive. They are 21 inch wheels and they really do a great job of filling in the wheel wells in the front and in the back. And it just makes the side profile of this car look absolutely wicked. It is just a super spaceship looking car it is gorgeous now up top you are going to have a carbon fiber roof on my particular tester and then the back angle of the car looks so sharp so aggressive looks very exotic now the tail lamps themselves have a really cool 3d design there's a mirror in there that reflects the light so it literally looks like the light just goes on forever it is such a cool look and then you have the blinkers also in the far outside of each tail lamp now the exhausts look great uh, they aren't actually attached to anything but the other thing is that you can't rev the hybrid model like you literally it will not let you rev the car which is pretty interesting all right so getting into the lc500 is very easy here is your key you've got your lock your unlock your trunk release your alarm your lexus badge lexus badge back here with the blue hybrid uh, very nice key good amount of weight to it very beautiful elegant looking key now of course you can unlock the door with the key the door handle will open right there you can also push the door handle in that will lock the car and then push this for it to come out all right so let's start over on the door so first of all you have this exposed carbon which looks really really nice we have the beautiful ultra suede coming all along the door and it flows right into that fully exposed door handle which is just a really beautiful design of course you're going to have leather all on the top right there full leather down here you got this nice chrome strip that's going to flow all along the top right there Decent amount of storage space down here. And of course you do have your memory seats, three settings, all of your window controls, mirror controls, your Lexus kick plate down here, aluminum pedals, Lexus LC branded floor mats. And now coming over here, you are going to have, of course, your seat controls, but you're going to have leather lined all along the outside. Usually this would be plastic in almost every other car, but this is full leather. Um, really supple feel to it. You've got the black and the red with the white contrast stitching, more ultra suede coming all along the middle of the seat. And then more of that stitching running all along the side of the seat. But let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so shutting the door on the LC. Extremely solid door shut. Really 
really, really nice. All right, and so you do have your chrome blue button right here to indicate that this is in fact the hybrid model. Fill in the brake, push that. All right, so if you hear that loud noise, I have the cooled seats on. So that is the one thing I have noticed that the cooled seats are really loud in this car. Uh, it is also pretty hot here in Texas. It's eight o'clock and it's still 94 degrees outside. If you guys can see that, it is really hot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue with the review. Let's start with the steering wheel. So beautiful steering wheel design. I love the three spoke design on here. It looks very sporty. Uh, you do have this black chrome, which is going to come all along here. Your Lexus badge right in the middle, full leather right here, white stitching coming across right there. On the outside, you're going to have perforated leather, smooth leather on the bottom and on the top. You do have full magnesium paddle shifters, which feel really solid, very nice. But do be aware in the summertime, they do get really hot. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you have the AC on full blast, they get really cold really quickly. But over here to the left of the steering wheel, you have all of your controls to control your screen. So of course your arrows to go through and select different items that you can see right there. Really nice. And then you do have this button here, which is my favorite. You press that, the dial's gonna move over to the right and expose a lot more information that you can go through. You can click left and right, see a bunch of different settings, um, really customize it, and then you click it again and it goes back to its normal area. Really neat. Right below that, you have your phone commands, your voice commands, volume controls over to the right, all your cruise control settings. So you do have adaptive cruise, which you can hit that button. Lane keep, uh, you do have your previous next, your different modes, AM, FM, XM, and then of course your cruise control settings here to set, and then your plus and minus to adjust your speed. Now behind the paddles, you do have, of course, automatic um, lights. Over here to the right, you're going to have automatic wipers as well. Now, right over here, tucked in the corner, you have a button here for your trunk, your HUD button to turn your HUD on and off, a button to open your gas tank, and then right here is going to be your interior illumination, of course, your odometer trip to reset that. Um, automatic high beams are going to be right here on the outside. And then you do have this beautiful ultra suede that folds right into this vent here. Right above that, you've got more stitched leather. You have a speaker right up here. This dial here, you're gonna press that once to turn off traction control. And if you press it again and hold it for about three seconds, everything will turn off. And then you press it one more time to turn everything on. And then to turn on snow mode, you're gonna push it down once and it'll say snow mode over to the right, and then down one more time, turns that off. Full ultra suede up here, more Alcantara. Uh, right above that, you do have your heads up display, if you guys can see that right there. Now coming over here, you're going to have, of course, another dial. This is going to control all of your drive settings. So down for comfort, one more down for eco, push for normal, up for sport, up one more time for Sport Plus. So really simple and I love how the gauges change with the drive modes. More stitched leather all up here, speaker over there, speaker over there in that corner. And then coming here, this is the cool part. So you have this really neat detail right here. Folds into your speaker, I'm sorry, folds into your vent. More vents down here. You have this pure aluminum right here, which feels great. This button is super satisfying to push. It feels great. Uh, more leather here, just such a beautiful interior. Of course, your screen there, um, your clock, which actually fits really well in this car. Coming down, you have all of your climate controls, um, and all the buttons are just so nice to push. It feels fantastic. Everything about this car is so high quality. Uh, right down here, a CD player, so if you still like to kick it optical, you do have that option. Leather here, of course, with more stitching. I do love how this folds in, so with the driver, if you guys can see that, it really has a sharp curve, that way it really cockpits you. And then right in between here, you even have aluminum right on the inside of here where you put your hands, which is really nice. Cup holder there, the cup holder's pretty good, it can fit like a good size water bottle, um, definitely decent. 
The shifter even is covered in leather, more aluminum here. Now, real simple to work, to put into drive, push left and back towards you. That's going to put you in the drive. Reverse is to the left and up. Once you do that, your backup camera is gonna come up and your mirrors are gonna fold down. Once you go back into drive, your mirror is going to fold back up. Coming down here, you have a lot more really nice switch gear. This is great. When you turn it, it feels like it's just sprayed down with WD-40. The way it turns is so smooth and so fluid. It's fantastic. Even these knobs over here feel just so good. Um, but of course, all your radio, media, tune, your map stuff. You do have the Lexus trackpad, which I'm not a huge fan of. The system could be just a little bit better when it comes to the ease of use of it. Um, it does get a little bit complicated um, after a while. You do have a little arm rest right here. Pull this back. You do have an area right down here, which is an extra cup holder. And then you pull this up and you have a little bit of storage space there. Two USBs and 12 volt. And then just push that one more time. You have a soft close right there. Coming up to the mirror, you do have a frameless mirror design with your um, home link located right under there. The lights in here are all touch sensitive. And of course, all LEDs. Really nice. Okay, so right in the back, you have more Alcantara lining the entire seat. The entire back seat is leather. Everything you see that's black is leather. Everything is leather. A big Mark Levinson sound system speaker right here, all of the way to the bottom. And then you're going to have more leather lining this whole middle tunnel right here. And it's going to fold all the way back up to the front. It is just a beautiful interior design. Definitely one of the best for sure. But let's go ahead and check out the trunk space. Also, one thing I did forget, you do have a light that comes right under here for your interior illumination. It looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, so coming to the trunk of the LC, your button is going to be right here. Push that, open the trunk. I do have my tripod back here. First aid kit. Now you don't have a spare or anything like that, but you do have a cargo net, which is right here. So you can see how it's connected to the hooks right there. You even have a little handle close your trunk so let's go ahead and check under the hood all right under the hood of the Lexus LC 500 hybrid it's a 3.5 liter Atkinson cycle v6 paired with two electric motors it's going to produce a total output of 354 horsepower and you can see all the power figures right here on the screen now the fuel economy figures are probably the most impressive thing about this car so you can see here the fuel economy figures are incredibly good uh, and I'll show you guys a little bit later how good those fuel economy figures are. Um, now this is paired to a CVT four-speed transmission. So basically it's a continuously variable transmission paired with a four-speed automatic. And I'll explain how that works in just a second. But let's go ahead and get it on the road. All right. So behind the wheel of the 2018 Lexus LC500 Hybrid. It's an interesting car, especially this hybrid one. Um, and, and the reason I call it an interesting car is I've spent all week just really digging into why one would choose the hybrid version over the just glorious sounding V8 version. This hybrid is no slouch at all. This thing will do 60 in about 4.7 seconds. Lexus says the V8 version will do it 4.4, uh, 4.5. So you're talking about a 0.2 to 0.3 difference in zero to 60 for a car that has even more weight than the V8 version. So you have the electric motors on here. You even have a bigger gas tank on the hybrid version. And the fact that it is only 0.2 seconds slower really gives you a good idea of how this car feels when you're driving it. Now, the zero to 60 numbers don't really tell the whole story. You don't realize how quick this car is until you're just cruising and then you just lay into the gas pedal. It just hauls. Now, I do feel like the hybrid suits 
the looks of this car a little bit better. And, and here's what I mean by that. The sounds that it does make feel more spaceship-like. You have the whirring noises coming from the battery. You have the motor kind of turning on and off. Uh, you have moments when it's just dead silent. And it's just an, it's just an interesting experience. And the fact that you're just cocooned in luxury in here, the fact that everything you touch and see and smell feels high quality and just next level. And you break necks in this car every single place you go. When Lexus dropped this car off at my house, it had 505 miles of range. I've driven this thing so much and I still have 270 miles of range left. Pretty sure you can easily achieve 600 plus miles of range in this vehicle, no joking. I am dead serious. It is absolutely incredible. And here's the best part about that. Not only can you drive this car more, have to stop less frequently for gas like you do in the V8 version, it's just, it's such a great sensation to know that Right now, I'm on the highway, foot all the way down. This thing moves, and that's already speeds that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> and this thing will move. Wow. All right, so we're gonna do a quick zero to 60. Very easy, as long as traction control is completely off. Have it in Sport Plus, you're gonna floor the brake. Now, as soon as you push the gas, it's going to say, let's see here, put it in drive would help. As soon as you push the gas, it's going to say accelerator and brake pedals depressed simultaneously with a flashing exclamation. Completely ignore it, push through. It'll rev all the way to 3000 and go. And 60. <laughs> yeah, this thing is quick. Now, the transmission, so let's talk about the transmission. I'm not a super engineering mindset person, but from what I've gathered of this transmission, it's a continuously variable transmission paired with a four-speed automatic. So basically, it equals out to 10 gears, but some of the gears are simulated by the CVT. So for example, first gear in the four-speed automatic will consist of, let's say, three gears. So first gear will be the mechanical gear, Gears two and three will probably be like the simulated gears. Three to four will be an actual gear change. And then three to four and five will be simulated once again. And then in between there, in between each gear are simulated gears by the CVT. Now, when you use the paddles on here, these beautiful magnesium paddles, you do notice it doesn't feel like a normal 10-speed automatic. It doesn't feel like a normal automatic transmission. It does feel slightly vague. Now, when I drove this car, like most people will drive it, because most people, let's face it, as good as the paddles look, a lot of people don't use paddle shifters. You leave this thing in automatic mode, turn this dial up to Sport Plus, floor it, and the transmission shifts so quick all by itself. It is fantastic. If you let the transmission just do its thing, let all the complexity just kind of work itself out in the background, it is fantastic. It's automatically downshifting for me. And it's, it's really cool. And of course, when you brake, it does generate some more electricity into the battery. Um, the steering is great. This car handles so incredibly flat. I think the coolest part about this thing, seriously, is the range. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fast forward to tomorrow I am going to Cars and Coffee Dallas, and I'm gonna record the trip for you guys, show y'all a little bit of cool cars. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, 6, 10 a.m. Headed to Cars and Coffee in this bad boy. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go to my range, I'm going to hold it, we're going to reset the average fuel economy, 
then I'm going to reset the trip monitor. So let's go ahead, head out to Cars and Coffee, guys. All right, guys, we just arrived, and after taking that trip, I got 37.7 miles per gallon on the highway, which is pretty good for a 62 mile drive. So let's go ahead and check out some cars. Well, this is my last day with the Lexus LC500, and I must say, it has been a truly great experience. Very thankful, very blessed that I'm able to do this and bring this video for you guys. But I do just wanna say that this hybrid setup is so incredible. It really is. Uh, despite all the insane amount of technology going on in the background, the way Lexus was able to make this work so seamlessly and work just as a single unit is extremely impressive. It really is. The fact that you get just the same amount of push, the same amount of torque shove as you do from the V8 version, just in a very different way. It comes on so much earlier. You don't have to rev this thing to the moon in order to get all the torque and all the power out of it. It feels mighty strong just from the get-go, just from a solid stop, you feel that torque push. And it's a really good experience. The fact that there's no exhaust note, the fact that there's no engine noise or a lot of engine noise coming in, really lets you experience how great of a job Lexus did on keeping the interior just so quiet. Everything feels rock solid. It is just an incredible luxury coupe. It really is. And of course, the fact that you can drive so far, you know, over 500 miles of range in this thing I was able to get out of this week is incredibly impressive. It really is for a car of this sportiness. It's definitely the best that I've had. So. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll go ahead and give you a look at my next car. All right, next up to review is the 2019 Volvo XC40 R design. Super excited about this car. It is a beautiful little compact crossover, but be sure you guys stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna subscribe, you can click up to the left, and if you wanna see some more of my other reviews, you guys can click over to the right. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all take care.